In this movie I will explain you how you can use the KNX virtual software to simulate KNX components. First of all you can download the KNX virtual software in your KNX account. You can choose this component when you shop and you can uh, find it in your my account and then you um, will choose for products and then you can find the link to download the KNX virtual software. When you have the KNX virtual software, then you have five point uh, .exe files. So this means that you can, for example, simulate the blinds, dimmer, uh, room temperature control, switch and switch with feedback. And I will test now with you the switch point, point .exe um, just to see what the possibilities are in ETS. And when I open this file, I will see this window and he asked to get the following products from the ETS catalog 02 um, SE for switch activator and 03 for push button and I will do this I will uh, check if I have some components with this name so I will go to the ETS software and will go to the catalog and in the catalog I will search for these components and I found this component KNX02 uh, switch activator this component. When you don't have it, you can download it. You can download. I downloaded it from the cloud, or you can find it in the uh, KNX catalog. And once you have this, then you can also search for the push button interface. And this is the push button interface. Once you have these components, then you can start a project. Now I don't want to uh, explain how to build up. A project I explained it in my other movies so you have a building structure topology group address and I have my virtual house and I can add these two components I just was looking for so for example I can in the main corridor in the cabinet I can add a new component and I will add the switch activator so this was the zero two I will add the switch activator in the cabinet and I will add the push button interface for example in the kitchen so when I add the push button interface and the switch activator you see that this has already been given the individual address 1.1.1 for switching activator 1.1.2 for push button interface you always can change this address if you want to so I will close some windows and I will also add in my topology I created one new area one new line and I have there already my two components my switch activator and my push button next thing I have to do I have to connect this object of this activator and uh, sensor so first of all I will have a look in the parameters so in the parameters of this switch activators I have uh, one parameter for relay one and this indicates how long it takes to switch off the, um, the light who is connected to switch activator relay one and I can do the same for relay two so this means that I only have two objects but that's the first thing just to test and then I have the push button have also my parameters and I can send a zero or a one doesn't matter you can choose it I choose for example for left rocker sending a zero right rocker sending a one and now I'm gonna play with those group objects and we'll see what I can do with it so I first start with relay one I will um, switch on or off a light to relay one or I will start the staircase uh, function this means that when I turn on the light it will be turned on for five uh, seconds and I can also immediately switch off the light so left was off right was on just as an example but the important most important thing is how can I simulate this how can I simulate this virtually and can I virtually download my program to those virtual components so it's very important that for my IP interface settings that I take these IP interface into uh, settings so I'm going to bus and then I see for example a new IP tunneling interface and I will take over these settings 
individual address is 1.1.250 IP address is 127.001 and port 30, uh, 36 and 71 all right so then I have to start this I, I click OK and I see my interface I see the possibility to have one two three push button interface with the same um, not same individual address but with the same application software and I have one switch actuator so I'm gonna retry this and I see now I have the connection because I clicked OK and he detects the detects the connection to my KNX virtual software so this means that I can start for example to download my components I will download those two components and I will choose for full download this mean means that I will download the individual address and will download the application in one so the first thing that my software will ask to do is please press the programming button of the uh, programming button of the switch activator so I will do this I have to show programming buttons and then this is my switch activator and I will press the programming button then I will see this indication led and my software will detect that this is the switch activator and he will download it to this component so the software has been downloaded also the individual address now I have to do the same with my uh, push button interface I will take this first one I will call it 1.1.2 so he will detect that there is an interface waiting to be downloaded and you can see it has been downloaded the individual address and also the application I don't need to show this programming buttons anymore I can do this if I want and that's all so this means that for example when I click here I can turn on the light I will wait some seconds you can see this is a staircase function so the light will turn on when I turn or push the left this means it will send a zero but nothing happens because the light has switched off but now for example when I turn it immediately off it can also react or I wait five five seconds just to to turn on the turn off the lights okay perfect so I had done this simulation so of course I can use several buttons and I can use several lights but the most interesting thing is that I now also can uh, do a lot of things in the diagnosis for example I will start a group monitor I will close some windows that you can see more and I will start group monitor uh, for example when I'm sending a telegram just to turn on the light or turn off the light or turn on the light and waiting five seconds and the light will turn on off and then I will turn off the light again but nothing happens because I will send a zero then I can see in my software what what's happening I will send an on off on off and so on I will see the source address I will see the destination address I will see the route counter I will see the DPT and uh, all this information can be very interesting so I will stop the uh, group monitor I can do also some other things for example checking which devices are in programming mode so I have to do the uh, show the programming buttons and for example I will put this one in programming mode and when I will start to scan he immediately says it will be the push button interface and it has the individual address 1.1.2 so it is very very interesting I have also I have to stop this program in mode device then my individual individual address check does this component exist on the bus yes it exists can I flash the light also yeah I can flash the light show programming buttons and I will see that the light flashes I can also stop flashing I can put on the light or turn off the light of the device LED so that's that's really great I can also for example check in the bus monitor if telegrams are passing by so I have to turn off this show program buttons just to start sending my telegrams so it is very interesting just to see all those tel telegram be passing by another uh, interesting feature I think could be interesting is for example monitoring in a group monitor and I will uh, turn on and off the lights and then I will stop this group monitor and I will save 
all those telegrams um, test three so I have to be sure that I saved all those telegrams save all save the selected telegrams again test three to be sure yes and then next thing that I will have to do is just the replaying of those telegrams just for testing could be interesting I will click OK and then I can see what happens I'm just replaying my telegrams I see six telegrams have been replayed so in the virtual KNX environment is very interesting also by testing the diagnostics and diagnosis just the group monitor bus monitor and everything about individual addresses